The final collection that we're going to talk about today is a tuple. At the moment, we have a list of apple, banana, and citrus. But if you want to convert this to a tuple, you have to use the parentheses. And similar to a list, a tuple has an order. So we now have the indexes back. This will be 0, 1, and 2. So let's print it. So once we print shopping, we should get apple, banana, and citrus. And you can see that these are parentheses. Because we now have indexes, this means we can now access each item based on the index. So let's say we want item from index 0, then we will have apple. As you can see, duplicates are allowed. So let's say we add in another item called banana, and this will be index 3, and we print out our shopping tuple. Now you see that we have apple, banana, citrus, and banana. So duplicates are okay. But the one difference between a tuple and a list is that it is not changeable. So this means you can't do something like this. You cannot do shopping at index 0 is equal to, let's say, something else like coconut. You cannot change the element because it is unchangeable. You cannot also add elements to the list. So you cannot do something like shopping.add, right? This will not work. And you cannot remove as well. So this is a very important distinction between a tuple and a list. The real question here is why is there a need for tuples? In one case scenario, you might have a list of colors. And let's say the list only has red, blue, and yellow. So if you use a list, then somebody else can add into the list, they can remove and change in the list. But if you don't want anyone to change it, then you have to use a tuple. So I hope you enjoy my explanation about the differences between a list, a set, and a tuple, and when to use each one of them. In the next video, I will show you how to use for loops.